Hello YouTube, this is a quick little tutorial on how to show you how to overclock your AMD graphics card with Catalyst Control Center. And this is uh, really simple. I have an R9 270X, so this might look a little bit different. It did look different for me when I had an older graphics card. I didn't have all this advanced power stuff right here and all that, but I had all this clock and temperature and fan speed and activity thing. Alright, so we want to scroll down and you see this little graph right here. Um, I wouldn't really mess with this. When you put this up, this puts your GPU clock up, and when you move it horizontally, you'll uh, decrease and increase your power limit. So what that does, your power limit is basically how much juice you want your CPU to use as extra juice. So if you want to overclock your graphics card, I'd recommend you put this up a little bit, so you can have that extra power to give extra juice for um, overclocking it. So what you want to do is uh, this is different for everyone by the way and make sure you have enough power in your power supply and you don't harm your system uh, do some tests see where your temperatures are and if you crash you probably want to put down your system maybe increase the power a little bit it's different for everybody's system it's different for all graphics cards um, everyone varies uh, usually people can overclock it slightly and I have mine overclocked plus 50 megahertz on the clock and plus 50 megahertz on the memory. Um, so what you want to do is increase that little bits at a time and I would do this maybe 10, 20 megahertz at a time. Do some tests, see if it works out alright. If you also go a little bit too high you might see artifacts instead of crashing like artifacts for example being tearing, weird glitches happening in games or problems with your graphics. Something uploaded, sorry if that popped up. Minimize this real quick. I'll just close it. Okay. So, if you want to deal with temperatures, um, you can also enable manual fan control, which uh, it's automatically put on default by uh, for the fan control, which is auto, so it will run at quiet speeds. Um, so for manual, you can just slide this over and click apply. And none of these settings will apply unless you click apply. So to increase your memory clock, which I would say this is more unstable if you overclock this. I've noticed this crashes more when you overclock your memory because it's not really recommended to be overclocked. Um, so you just adjust this. Again, you can use the scroll bar or you can use the little arrows here. And no, you can't type in a custom number, I don't think. So And then you just click apply. So again, this graph, you can also use this if you want. I just recommend using these variables instead. And that's a quick little tutorial on how to overclock a graphics card. And here's your temperature. You can also use MSI Afterburner. You guys can check out a tutorial for that as well. And you can check out some other settings in Catalyst Control Center. Just um, experiment with it. See what you can get it to. And overclocking your graphics card overall won't make too much of a difference. But it can give you a couple extra frames in your games which can help out majorly. Um, I think in Metro last light on high I was getting around 50 FPS and then once I bumped my GPU clock up a little bit I think I got around 57 FPS so considerable difference. Um, so yeah again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you like and don't forget to share and favorite this video and see you guys later Make sure to check out my other videos as well.